hi guys welcome to my channel so today i'm going to be showing you how to get sweat proof summer makeup that will last all day that will not budge even when the sun is beaming on you and you feel like it's melting off your face so yeah i give you tips i'm personally dry skin and um, but obviously i am dry skin i still have an issue with my makeup lasting in the heat who doesn't but i still give you tips for oily skin as well and um, because i know obviously you are the ones that suffer that your makeup slips aside and we do not want that we want to slay all day in the sun and look flawless so yeah this as you can see it ain't going anywhere it's going to last for eight to ten hours if not more and you can see it's quite matte and poreless and flawless but still glowy so yeah if you want to see how i got this look then please keep watching so obviously the first thing you want to do if you want your makeup to last all day and to be sweat proof um i know we don't have like the best weather here in ireland we actually have for the last few weeks but obviously for you guys that live in hard countries and do get a good summer you want your makeup to last all day especially have if you're in work or you have somewhere to go or an event or something so we'll start with a long wearing primer now even though i'm dry i still in my t-zone because if that's where my makeup was to kind of come off a little bit first or a little bit of oil with the picture it would be like right kind of not on my nose but kind of here and maybe a little bit here so i'm going in with actual actually affordable one today so you can get this for like 10 euro um at nyx so it's just the angel veil it's really good it's just like a white moisturizer i only take a little bit because i don't put a lot on just a little bit like that kind of dot on my face obviously if you're oily all over then you can put this all over but i just like to put a wear i get oily and then sometimes because i am a little bit dry i go in then with a hydrating primer on the rest of my face because i don't want to look cakey especially because i will be doing a little bit more today because it's sweat proof makeup but as i said if you're oily just put this all over you only need a pea size amount don't think you need like half the bottle and just kind of pat it into your skin so i have my eyes done because today i'm just going to show you the face but i do have a tutorial coming with this eye look but yeah so we have our primer on and it's set in now um i won't usually i kind of use oil either mixing with my foundation or before you can do your skincare like that's fine but usually i do it right before but i'm not gonna today because obviously we want our makeup class all day and i don't want any kind of oil on my skin that the sun will just take right off so it's completely up to you but pick what foundation works for you i'm sure you all have a foundation that you know lasts longer than other ones you have so today i'm going to be mixing my mac and my wet and wild photo focus foundation this mac lasts forever on me but i know a lot of people have a problem with mac foundation a lot of my friends either breaks them out or it just does not work for them it really works for me the only thing is it's very yellow and i've kind of lost my tan a little bit <laughs> don't mind me i'm in like an aladdin top um but as you see i'm not wearing this in the intro and outro but um yeah it's kind of a little bit too yellow even when i'm tan it's still when i tan i'm a bit more of like a olivey undertone whereas this is like bart simpson, bart simpson kind of yellow okay so i only use a little bit of this because it really does last on me and as, again i use it in my t-zone and um, but yeah this wet and wild foundation i know you can't really buy it over here but if any of these are going to america or even i don't know if england have it this foundation is incredible it's five dollars it comes in a glass bottle like the packaging's amazing and it's just one of my favorite foundations to me i could, wouldn't even be able to tell if you let me try this i didn't know what foundation it was i would say it's high end like expensive it's that good and um, i'm going to mix the color golden beige because that's a little bit light for me now but the other one i use desert beige is a little bit too dark for me so i'm going to mix those two and then a little bit of my mac Then I'm just going to go in with my Beauty Blender because that's my favourite way to apply my foundation. You can use a brush if you want but I just find a Beauty Blender gives me like a good amount of product. It doesn't give me too much product that looks cakey and it really sets into my skin which is what you want. You want it to really penetrate into the skin. So I think that's enough layers for me. I'm happy with that amount of coverage. 
I don't like personally wearing too much coverage in the sun because because I'm dry which I'm sure you are sick of hearing me say in every video it can look very very cakey on me and very dry and very cracked and um, but if you're oily and you don't have that problem then put as many layers as you want as many layers as you want because you don't want this coming off so I'm happy with that like it's probably about two and a half three pumps if even and I'm happy with that because I'm gonna go in with concealer and stuff as well so yeah and um, I wouldn't use like a dewy foundation on a sunny day try using matte if you can and um, the ones I used were mm, maybe not matte like satin to matte but if you're oily use make sure you're using a really good matte foundation and um, L'Oreal infallible pro infallible or is that infallible pro matte yeah that's really good maybelline super stay is really good they're all cheap alternatives obviously then you've estee lauder estee lauder double wear or let me think what else that ysl all nighter or the urban decay all nighter or something like that um but i do recommend the mac and the wet n wild as well i don't like double wear on me but that's just me and then the other two drugstore ones i mentioned are really really good so now we're going to go into concealer so i'm going to mix two only because one is like the color of paper uh, but it's the revlon conceal and define in c1 so this is like white and it looks white on me so i only use a little bit under my eye and then i'm going to put the maybelline fit me because this is like a medium to full coverage foundation really good for dark circles but then i just mix a little bit with this because the driest place on my face is probably under my eyes and that's obviously not good because girl i don't want no wrinkles and i'm trying to fix it but so i don't like to put a lot of product underneath there because it does look very cakey very quick and it cakes straight throughout the day so I find this one's a bit more natural so I mix it with the full coverage but if you don't have that problem then just go in with this or your Tarte Shape Tape or whatever full coverage concealer you have I wouldn't wear like a little natural everyday one not in the sun you want it to last so yeah this is in the shade 10 the lightest shade of this so I'm just going to mix them and blend them in my beauty blender Now that we're nice and highlighted, could you imagine if I didn't put that fit me in with this, I literally have like white under eyes, but I like how it brightens, it makes me look more awake. So I don't bake because as I said, my eyes would crack, I've tried it before. So if you're oily, I would recommend you bake right now, go in with a translucent powder, I'm going to go in with the Tarte Smooth Operator. And what I would do is I get a big fluffy brush, I place it underneath your eyes, wherever you get oily, around your nose, your nose, your chin, your forehead, wherever you get oily and leave it there for about five minutes and then, and don't be afraid to put like a lot on that, it looks like you've like baking powder underneath your face, but that's what works. So for me, I'm not going to do that, I'm just going to dip in, pour a little bit of this into the, the lid. And then I literally just go in with my beauty blender and set right underneath my eyes where I crease. Um, because that's where I want the powder to set, is right underneath my eyes. And to me that really does like smooth out my under eyes, like right underneath there. It's actually such a nice powder. Um, but I don't want to put that all underneath my eye so what I'm going to do is as I said if you have oily skin just bake like just take a lot of this powder put it right under and all around and just leave it but obviously I can't show you how to do that because I'm not oily but maybe I could bring someone oily on my channel to show you but if you're dry out there you're one of my dry skin girls then this is what I do and this might work for you so I'm now going to go in with my normal brightening powder that I put on and then I'll show you what else I do to make it last all day. So next I'm going to go in with this powder. I love this powder. I highly recommend it and you can get it on in Debenhams. So it's the Kat Von D Blotten Powder. Lock it. Powder. It's Blotten Powder in light. So it literally is kind of like a white yellow colour. 
and this is a blotting powder so that's obviously really good for oily skin but it's not like thick and heavy so i just go in with a e3 morphe brush and place that underneath my eye and it really helps brighten it and kind of matte it And I also put a little bit on my chin and a little bit just where I highlighted here. And as you can see, that just looks so nice. Like it's really brightened my face. It's not a thick, heavy powder and it really kind of like fills in your pores. It's really nice. Uh, but this is my little trick. So I love this powder. I think it's the best powder invented. It is the MAC Studio Fix. Mine's an NC30, but don't be fooled. Because NC30 like is not that dark so I like it because I only really use it in the highlight parts but now I go back into the same brush and I place this over it because this is a powder foundation so what it does is it's an extra layer of coverage and it really sets in your makeup and it really mattifies it but not in a drying way it actually airbrushes it I swear it airbrushes it it gets rid of your pores as well so I just place that right where I kind of get oily, not under my eyes, so I don't want to take away the brightness, but like right at my nose, and then I kind of can get a bit oily here sometimes. But again, I don't want to put over the brightening powder because it'll take away that brightening color. I don't want it to be all the same color. But if you got this in a lighter color, so that's literally just like an extra layer of coverage to make sure like no oil seep through there because I have a primer on, foundation on. Um, a normal powder on and a foundation powder on and I don't look cakey like at all because I've built it in layers and I know that's what makeup by Mario does with Kim he builds in layers tin layers not thick layers so you see I just put a little bit on um, so yeah to me I look so like like poreless and matte and I will add a highlight because I want to glow but I want my base to stay all day so yeah, that's how you make your face stay. Obviously, if you baked, you don't have to do this part. You can if you want. If you're like, girl, I oil does be dripping off my face, then yeah, but usually the baking like locks in your makeup. But if you're dry, this is another tip. And I promise you, it doesn't make me look dry and flaky. So because this is sweat proof makeup, and I'm mainly showing my oily skin girls out there because these are the ones that suffer. I'm not gonna like cream contour or anything like that because obviously the first thing to slip and slide is gonna be your cream contour. If you're out in the heat, that's not gonna hold because it's cream, it's just gonna kind of run down. So I would recommend to only use powder because obviously the cream on top of your foundation, like obviously if you're oily set your whole face, like you could bake in the center and then get a powder foundation and set the whole face. So yeah, you're just gonna use powders instead because they'll last a lot longer um, and they'll mesh in with the skin. Whereas like I could use a cream and a powder and that probably would last all day for me, but not for oily people. So yeah, and obviously if you set your whole face to powder, really cling on to that powder, it'll be like another layer of powder on top of that powder. So it will last, but as I said, I don't want to powder my whole face because I don't need to. I don't, there's no oil coming through there and I don't have a problem with my face makeup coming off on the outer part. So yeah, so if you're oily, as I said, bake where you need and then set everywhere else with a powder foundation like I did. And then just go in with your powder. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go into the Make Forever Pro Fusion Bronzer. I find it's quite natural looking, so if it does kind of fade throughout the day, it fades nicely and naturally looking. I'm not like a big streak on your face. So I'm gonna contour with this. So I'm gonna go into my Sigma F05 Small Contour Brush and just place this in the areas I want to contour. So as you can see, that's just so natural. It's not a harsh contour, it's just really nice. And it melts nice with my skin and the undertone's nice. So what I like to do before I bronze is do my highlight because I don't want a big streak of highlight. I like to put my bronzer over so it kind of meshes together. So cause I'm quite, for me, matte right now, I want to glow, 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 glow. I want the sun to hit me and my cheeks to sparkle. So I'm gonna go in with my favorite highlighting combination at the moment. 
girl if you want god to see you up there he will this is so nice so what i do is i first put on the amrezy highlight with anastasia if you haven't got this you need this this is as good as everyone says it is it's as good as it looks on the pictures it is incredible as you can like look at that it is beautiful and it's quite light like it actually be a bit too light for me if i was at my tannest so if you're light skin this is going to be fine on you and i just go in with morphe m501 and i just place that on the top of my May I just say, that is not wet. There's no Fix Plus, no spray, that's just it dry. And look at that. It is incredible, one of the best highlights ever. Amra needs to come out with her, whole, her own makeup line because I know it'd just be incredible. But yeah, you need, you need this highlighter in your life. They have it on Beauty Bay and Anastasia has a UK website, so go get it. And then just to be extra like I am, I like to even glow more. So I go into the Jennifer Lopez and Ingla highlight in Living the Highlight in Radiant. And this is, I'm sure you've seen this in my last video. Take a little bit on my brush and I just place it right on the tips there. Just to glow even more when the sun hits. I love this. This is probably my favorite highlight. Their sparkling face and body just like, looks like glitter, but when you put it on, it's so finely milled. It just looks wet on your cheeks. I'm gonna put a little bit on the tip of my nose. Let's just say you won't be getting lost in the dark. Girl, this will be your light to the end of the tunnel, seriously. This is, oh. I just love it. I just love it so much. It's such a good highlight. Even though it's not sunny today and I can't even go out in the sun to show you this amazing highlight, we're still gonna, it's still somewhere we're gonna make it work. So now I'm gonna go into bronze. So I love this bronzer and I can't stop using it. I'm sorry, but it's a JLo and Ingla Boogie Down Bronze in Sunkiss and it's just such an amazing, like you need this too. This is so good. Like it is so warm and bronzy, it screams summer and it just warms me up when I'm kind of looking a bit like ugh. So I just go in with my Morphe M527 and I just place that on top of my contour, in between my highlight and my contour. So I'm going to go into this Catrice blush, it's called a pro pros apricot these are only a couple of euro and they're gorgeous look at this it's such it looks like nothing in the pan but i love this blush it's one of my favorites if you look really closely there's a bit of a sparkle to it a gold sparkle but it doesn't really show up on your cheeks i'm just going to go in my morphe e4 and place that on the apples of my cheeks And now, of course, to make this last, you really want to put something on your skin, like a spray, a setting spray, whatever, just to really lock it in. So we have our primer on, our foundation on, we have like three layers of powder on, we have a layer of bronzer on, and that's another layer of powder. So you just want to make sure it's all locked in now. So I'm going to use the Maybelline super stay set and spray this is really good obviously you can use the urban decay one the scandinavia one but i like this one so i just hold it about three inches away from my face and spray try get like a fan or something to make it because if you make it dry and quicker it actually lasts longer so now that that's locked in this makeup is not going to budge for like eight to ten hours even in the sun, this is going to last because I have so many layers on. And if you were oily and you baked and then put powder foundation to set the rest of your makeup, your makeup's not going anywhere, believe me. The key is the primer, the baking, if you're oily, 
or the powder foundation and just setting it with the translucent powder underneath. So, and you have so many layers of powder on, the bronzer, the highlight, the blush. There's no cream products here, so they're not gonna slip and slide. And then you've locked in with that setting spray. So it's not gonna go anywhere. Just try not like touch your face too much or whatever. But no, this should last. I will test it in the sun. I have tested it in the sun. Obviously I can't today, but I have worn this makeup in the sun and my makeup usually lasts all day. I don't really have a problem with it. Just my lip might fade or something, but yeah. So I'm sorry, maybe this wasn't too helpful to oily skin girls. Obviously I don't have that skin, but I try to give you tips along the way. But yeah, I'm just gonna go finish the rest of my makeup and then I will be back. So this is the finished look. As you can see, your skin still looks flawless. It doesn't look cakey. To me, it actually looks quite like airbrush and really nice. I still don't look like, personally, I don't think I look like I'm like cake face or anything. <laughs> you might have another opinion, but I really like this. This is what I would wear. Like some people obviously like to wear makeup on holidays during the day. If you do, you could do this if you want. If you're going like on a day trip and you wanted your makeup to last all day, or if you just live in a hot country, uh, you work outside, whichever, or even just during the night and it's still humid, you don't want your makeup to sweat off. You can use this, you can do any kind of eye look with, any kind of lip with, but this base will just, it ensures that it lasts all day. So yeah, I hope you like my tips for dry and oily skin. If you want, I can bring someone in that has really oily skin and do a little like wear tests and stuff it's completely up to you but i hope this helped i hope you liked it please like and subscribe if you haven't already it really helps me out and thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye